schemes like a rattle. Tensions run hot, I saw like a heat of battle. Time to fix the music, approach at every angle. Let's tangle and get this rap game locked in a strangle. For all the you thugs, put your hands, show love, pump plug. Let's you test me and bound if they don't join up. Don't bug. How we play to keep you simply amazed. Growing up these days, you see. I wanted to just show everybody that this is the People's Tribune television. And here's People's Tribune. And uh, there is a, a really nice article. I don't know if people can see this yet or whether they'll not quite. Um, there's actually an article about the war in here. And this is about, the, the cover is about immigrants. So, I mean, the two major issues I think we have in America is the what's happening to immigrants in this country, in within this country, and the war. I mean, those are the two things that that I think are really uh, are really hot button issues for everybody. Um, now, Pat Alviso has something for us. Uh, we were talking about supporting the war in Congress and how um, I think uh, that it's possible that Congress could act to stop this war. Yes, is that correct? That's right. I mean, as much as we hear today about how Congress is plugging away at this legislation and talking to Bush, I guess that's what they did today to try to work something out. We military families speak out, Iraq Veterans Against the War, Veterans for Peace, Progressive Democrats. A lot of people are pushing really hard for Congress to do something totally different, which is to stop the funding. Congress has another opportunity here to redeem themselves because they voted to fund the war, which makes no sense to us. You can't fund a war and then say you're opposed to it. That'll give Bush enough money with this big budget he's asking for to give him more than he even asked for. will allow him to uh, go ahead and do whatever he wants till he's out of Congress. The legislation that they're proposing with these sort of soft deadlines is only going to cause a situation where even if Bush did sign it, we'd still probably lose another American, a thousand American soldiers at mm -hmm. least. And we're losing a thousand Iraqis a month, mostly women and children. So that's not acceptable. 2008, mm -hmm. it, it'll be close to election time. Well, what is right. that about? So you've got some sort of a, what is this yes. thing that you have, the certificate of ownership of the war right. in for Iraq? Right, so or long, people have been saying this is Bush's war, right? Uh -huh. We've been saying that forever. The Dems in particular, and I'm a lifelong Democrat, or I was. <laughs> <laughs> and now we are showing Congress, this is presented to Congress right, right after they voted to fund the war. There, yeah. um, our national organization of military families speak out. There's uh -huh. 3, over 3,000 members of military families speak out. Iraq Veterans Against the War and Veterans for Peace presented this to Congress, to each member of Congress that voted to fund the war. And this is their certificate of ownership. It's no longer Bush's war, it's Congress's war. Mm. They voted to fund it, they own it. They bought it, they own it. Also comes with a warranty which says um, as a result of their vote, they're guaranteeing that um, over 500 U.S. wounded troops will occur each month. There'll be increased suicide among Iraq war veterans. There'll be continued destruction of marriages and families of Iraq veterans. There'll be de depletion of the national treasury. Again, we will underfund for sure the health care, education, so social services for people in the U.S. The continued destruction of the Iraqi infrastructure is a warranty. And of course, the decreased de credibility of the United States and the world community. Of course, also the deaths of three U.S. troops and countless Iraqi children, women, and men every day. Hmm. It's really powerful, absolutely. And we're encouraging other people to get on our website and uh -huh. uh, pull yeah, this let's off. Let's see that website again for everybody out there. And uh, we have that website, uh, Military Family Speak Out. That's the national website. You can also, right. is it, what's the military? Orange County, is it? Uh, MFSO, that means uh -huh. Military Families Speak Out, uh -huh. OC, Orange County, uh -huh. at earthlink.net. Okay. So, but they can link through that website to, uh, through right. the right. national website. All right, I'd like to get back to Jason and put him on the spot there. Yes. You're from good. upstate New York, basically. Yes. And Very little, upstate. little town, <laughs> little town, Tupper. Tupper Lake. Yeah. Tupper Lake. So, that's so what are your what is your family and your 
and your neighbors. What do they think about what you're what you've what you're into? My family's been supportive. They've uh -huh. been really supportive. Uh, as as much as we talk about it, I'll just tell them the latest activist uh, events that I've been to uh -huh. and things that I've done, and they always tell me that they're proud of me. Oh, good. Yeah. That's good. Yep. Have you ever met any neg people that have been negative towards you and saying, "Oh, Jason, you're a traitor. You're yes. turning on the troops. You're blah blah blah." Yes, I have, yeah. and uh, I think that they are connecting the war with the troops. They're thinking that in order to support the troops, you have to support the war because you'll, you'll undercut their morale, which is, I mean, it's a, it's a valid concern. It's not, it's not crazy to think that, but they are just misinformed. That's not true at all. And in fact, if the troops have a duty to defend the nation and what they're doing is actually making their nation less safe, the best way to support them is to pull them out so that they won't be physically and mentally depleted for some time in the future where they might actually need to protect their country from a real threat. Right. Absolutely. I guess the next question I have for you is if you had if you were had some Marines who were about ready to go to Iraq and they were people that you knew and you could say something to them at this point, what would you say to them about activism, about what their role should be, about what they should do? Well, actually, my, uh, my unit is about to go for their fourth tour here. Oh, wow. Before the end of the month, they're mm -hmm. gonna head back to Iraq. And uh, I would just tell them to do whatever they think is right. Mm -hmm. And I don't blame anyone who who doesn't speak out because they're afraid of retribution, I would just tell them to just follow their conscience. And if anybody wants any information, I, I would tell them they can definitely get a hold of me at any time, mm -hmm. and I'll give them all the support that I can. Right. There, and uh, we have that website, uh, Military Family Speak Out.